this is Sheba. And this is Shahid. Today the boys turn one month old. We made it. Barely. Yes, this here, this quiet in the car, are the first moments of quiet we've experienced in 48 hours. After making the switch to breastfeeding exclusively and getting rid of their formula, the boys have been completely unsettled. And last night, it reached a peak. I don't know if you can hear me over the crying, but I kind of look at it almost like an addiction and going cold turkey. Taking the formula away fully and right away may not have been the right idea because they seem to kind of be in shock a little bit over the last two days. Um, they're drinking a lot of breast milk though, so that's good. Can you hear me? To celebrate their birthdays, we are now headed to the doctor for the one month checkup. Maybe they can tell us what's wrong. You guys are okay though, right? I mean, unexplained crying is kind of what babies do. All right, bro? For documentation purposes, this is Zane. That would make this guy Aiden. I was gonna say that I noticed how these guys are super good during the daytime, apart from the moments in the car you just saw and heard. Um, but at night, it's a completely different story. It's like they freak out. They know that we're trying to go to sleep, or they're really unsettled, or maybe it's just the dark. I don't know. Could be still. Uh -oh. <laughs> It? Yeah, I just need to get a pound. Seven pounds. Whoa, seven pounds, buddy. Go, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're seven pounds. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still in the lead, bro. Still in the lead. You happy about that? But not by much. Ah, uh, you'll get there soon. You'll get there soon. They're you guys done. are all done. Oh, they're just so fresh. I want to put you to the test. Can I put you to the test? No. Can Can you see? Can you guess? No. Do it. Doc, doctor, can you guess which uh, which one is which? Doctor Kabar. Um. Okay, let's try. Okay, here we go. Look closely. Okay. Okay. Aiden? Zane? Oh no, unfortunately not. <laughs> empty sink, empty dish rack, empty dining table, empty ish fridge, empty house. So we're back from the doctor's office, and my mom has just left, mm -hmm. and your mom is not here no. yet. Uh, so it's just you and me and the boys the boys how does that feel quiet <laughs> yeah it's pretty quiet um, after the last couple nights though yeah. uh, what do you think tonight's gonna be like alone <laughs> I'm a little worried um, but I'm thinking that no matter when our help um, was to leave it was gonna be challenging anyways and so we kind of know what's going to come tonight. It's not going to be a surprise or hit us off guard. So I think it's going to be hard, but I think it's going to be okay. And speaking of okay, the guys are okay. Uh, they're gaining weight still mm -hmm. and nothing is a red flag. So no. um, that's good. Happy one month birthday to the two of you. And you guys are doing good. You just have to start sleeping at night. Please. Yeah, that's one thing Dr. <laughs> Kabar told us. Uh, it's about time we start sleep training, or at least thinking about it, because they're not sleeping at night, they're sleeping during the day, and that'll help us a lot, but it'll be painful during the process. <laughs> As will most things. Uh, but today, even though it's supposed to be a party in here because they're one month old, it's going to be relatively quiet in here because I'm going to use every opportunity I get to sleep. Aren't you guys just comfortable? 
don't get used to it. So I haven't really had the chance to exercise yet since the boys were born. I thought I would at this point. I thought I'd at least get to the gym, but I haven't yet. This week I had a hockey game and I had planned to go to that hockey game, but I didn't get there. But today I have no choice because it's snowing. It's interesting, I talked about how priorities changed in a previous video. In the first few snowfalls of the year, I had no interest in shoveling. But since I haven't exercised or really got much fresh air since the twins were born, I actually enjoyed shoveling today. Let's ask my back though, because I hate to be this guy, but why are you crying? <laughs> because there's so many emotions and there's just only one way to get them out. And that's right here. Okay, read me your Facebook message. <laughs> try, try again. Why? Just try. My boys are one month old, and I couldn't be happier to be their mom. Whoa. Between your many faces, the hangry feeding sessions, your coos and cries. You can't get past that I know. part. Just start at the next part. You have taken me on the best ride of my life. I love you guys. Oh. You guys don't even know how much you lucked out to have her as your Maja. We made a video today and released it today celebrating the one month and talking a little bit about how the month has been for us. Uh, I realized a little bit after the fact that there wasn't a lot of them today on their actual one month birthday. There was the montage of them leading up to today, but um, we want to document today and, and what they were like at one month old because we'll be able to compare that to one year old and five years and ten years and twenty years. So uh, they'll also be able to see how much they mean to us already in one month. Uh, I'm not going to cry, but I could. It's okay. I got enough tears for the both of us. I promise I'm not always crying. And these are definitely not sad tears. But it's moments like this where I'm lying on the couch, doing absolutely nothing, that I realize just all of the feelings I'm feeling. And then they want to come out. And they come out like this. Because I'm a crybaby. And my eyes are broken. But I'm happy. So that makes three crybabies in the house <laughs> currently. We're hoping only one of them cries. And actually, you know, let's hope none of them cry at night tonight. I don't, did, I, did I mention this earlier about the doctor saying that it's about time maybe we start thinking about sleep training? Mm -hmm. And uh, if we start that and when we start that, the four of us will be crying, I'm sure. It, mm -hmm. it was pretty close the last couple nights to being that. All right, so at their one month mark, the biggest thing weighing on my mind today is, of course, breastfeeding. And the question that I keep coming back to is, are they getting enough food? And that coming out in two ways. They've been feeding quite a bit more often, um, so that makes me question, am I giving them enough food at each session that they need to come back sooner uh, than before? Or are they just growing really fast and require more food? I'm not quite sure. Um, we're gonna do another weigh-in in a week from now and we'll find out if they're gaining weight, which means that we're all good. Uh, but that's, that's it. That's the big one month question. My biggest one month question is not that because I, I don't know, I have a gut feeling that we can't break them in one week. So if we go one week just yeah. breastfeeding, hey, I'm talking here. <laughs> um, and we check in at uh, the doctor's office in a week and things aren't going as well in terms of weight, then we'll adjust. But we won't break them too much by that point. So my big question is, when are we gonna start seeing the stuff that we want to see, the smiles, uh, the giggles, uh, all those firsts that we had so many of early in the first couple days, but uh, the firsts that we want to document and, and start to experience uh, and, and have these guys develop a little bit more of their personalities. That's my big question. When? So back to the stars of the show. I don't know how we dressed them today, but uh, <laughs> this is Zane, and you are now one month old, and we can't wait for you to grow and this is Aiden, and you are also one month old, plus one minute more. You have already grown so much, and we can't wait for you to grow some more. These are the moments that we'll never forget. The moments you'll never forget. <laughs>